it's looking like they want to make this exact same mistakes with the movie franchises as they did with Marvel Comics. Gosh, we're talking five years ago now. Has it really been that long? It's crazy. We'll talk about what happened then and exactly the same mistakes that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is making now in just a second. But I've got my book, The Stars Entwined. It is a Star Trek replacement. If you enjoy great science fiction like the old Star Trek days, you'll enjoy my series here. I just came out with the trilogy conclusion this weekend, and I hope you read it. Everybody's enjoying it so far who's read it so far. Talk to me about it. And uh, I don't want to spoil more than that. You can get an awesome trilogy on Amazon right now. I will leave that link in the description below. So thank you very much, everybody who reads and watches the channel. I appreciate your guys' support. Back in 2017, I wrote this article here on The Federalist. It was called, Forcing Political Correctness on Employees and Characters is Killing Marvel Comics. And I went on in detail about the actual numbers declines that they were seeing when Marvel replaced all of its heroes with SJW minorities, women, etc. Uh, in all of their comics. At the time, Iron Man was a girl. It was weird. Uh... uh Hawkeye was a girl. Every Everybody was turned... Thor was a girl. Everybody was turned into like some sort of replacement character of their own book at the same time. They called the, the whole uh, situation Marvel Now. And I talked about it here. I said Marvel is on a steep decline. For nearly two decades, their sales have plummeted as they flooded the stands with too many books and variant covers, killing the collectors of mar market. In addition, Marvel has crippled the possibility of impulse buy. A single inexpensive pamphlet no longer tells a full story. Six or more issues are required to get the complete work. Their distribution is funneled through the monopolistic entity Diamond Comics, which only ships to an ever-decreasing number of boutique specialty shops. Marvel has also created no new heroes in years, still telling stories about the same characters Stan Lee brought to life in the 60s. Even through all this, Marvel persisted, that is, until social justice warriors took over and dethroned them from their place in top selling comics. I go on to talk about how Brian Michael Bendis and his ilk brought in these people to uh, go just torch the company basically with these replacement characters. And we're starting to see this happen. We've got Shang-Chi, the movie that just came out right now, which has been in theaters. And they've been trying to hail this as a success, even though China is not even really allowing it into their market, even though the performance of Shang-Chi is much lower than a movie like Black Panther just a couple of years ago. They're saying, well, it's the best in COVID times, but it's got the same systematic problems that Marvel Comics had back in the day. They push a uh, strong female lead uh, on Shang-Chi, even though the movie's called Shang-Chi. If you look at most of the action and who does most of the work and who's way better than Shang-Chi at everything he does, it's his sister. His sister actually is the person who drives most of the plot uh, while he's kind of fumbling around uh, trying to find himself throughout this entire movie. It really kills things because you're sitting there going, when's Shang-Chi actually going to be the hero here? There's a few moments in the movies where he does finally step up, but it's always the, the, the sister and his girlfriend who really take the forefront and take those moments away from him uh, during the epic climaxes of the action. And this is not just something that's happening here. This is something that now is happening in Marvel's Hawkeye. This trailer just came out this morning, and it's the exact same thing. We have Hawkeye from the Avengers movies, and he's got this girl who he meets in the middle of the streets who is just strictly better than him at everything he does. He has to tag along with her while she shoots the arrows, while she is makes the heroic moment, and she is now replacing him. We saw in Winter Soldier early on about how we needed to have Black Captain America replace the Captain America, and there were all sorts of talk about it throughout the whole deal. You know, he's like, I'm not just Black Captain America, I am the Captain America, right? Now we're having Thor, the movie, come out, where Natalie Portman now, as Jane Foster, is going to be woman Thor. Every single mistake that Marvel made back in 2016, 2017 in the comics, which plummeted sales and nearly destroyed comic shops, is now happening in the Disney Cinematic Universe. Now you've got all this con convoluted continuity to follow and try to figure out and catch up on, where they all tie in and weave together, and it's a big cluster on that end. But on top of that, you've got these characters that nobody cares about because you're replacing all of the characters that people care about. Now, Marvel's got so many different characters in its universe, you could just make great films out of all those characters for decades to come uh, and keep it all going for decades to come, even without, you know, churning through another Captain America or another Iron Man or another Hawkeye or whatnot. 
But unfortunately, they don't seem to want to do that. They seem to want to force these replacement characters uh, and do the exact same thing as they were doing before. It's really stupid, uh, but this is how SJWs go. Now, it's going to not be enough in a year or two. You watch as this goes on. It's never enough. Every character now is a woman. But you know what? There's too many white women, and now it's going to have to be, you know, minority women. And after that, it's going to be LGBT representation and everything. We must, we must put them in the children's cartoons. That's where it's going to be going. We saw it in the comic books. It is a slippery slope that happens every single time. And this is where the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going. I mean, I don't know anybody who's really watching this uh, religiously anymore uh, like they used to. There's not buzz about these shows like there were originally. There's not buzz about the movies like there were several years ago. So they seem to be content in just trying to destroy their own brand. Hey, maybe one day I'll be able to make movies out of my superhero properties and we'll be able to do something cool and have some fun like we used to have back in the day. I can only hope. We'll keep growing here at the channel and I appreciate you guys' support and your guys tuning in all the time. Let me know what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be back soon.